and welcome to Talkin' Tigers. I'm Rachel Whitaker. Les Miles has always been known for not shying away from true freshmen, and now he's played a hundred in his ten years. Now joining me with more is LSU beat writer Jim Kleinpeter. Jim, how are you? Doing great today, Rachel. Well, we talked all summer how it could maybe be a slow year for LSU's offense with several great players gone, but freshmen and sophomores have really stepped up, like Doral and Daryl Williams. Uh, Fournette is getting more patient, and then you've got uh, defenders like Tredavious White, Jamal Adams. That production is so critical. I feel like we could go on and on. Well, somebody's got to do it, and uh, LSU's lost so many upperclassmen, guys that would be juniors and seniors this year, uh, to the NFL draft. That you've got to rush these guys in, but uh, maybe before they're, maybe a little bit before they're ready. But uh, that's why they come to LSU. They know they're gonna, they may play right away, and and they are getting a lot of uh, 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 production out of these guys, uh, especially Darrell Williams, who's uh, uh, you know he scored two touchdowns the other night. Uh, Fournette had one. Uh, freshmen are scoring. And, and, and producing and, and contributing. So uh, Trey Quinn is a starter as a freshman. Jamal Adams uh, made a really nice one-on-one -on -one tackle yesterday uh, uh, or Saturday against uh, ULM. Uh, and, you know, difficult thing for a freshman to be able to do. But some of these kids are ready to play. And then, uh, then again, you had uh, a guy like um, uh, Duke Riley who came in. Uh, wasn't a highly uh, uh, recruited player, but uh, led LSU in tackles against ULM uh, in his first career start. So yes, I mean. LSU needs these guys to produce, and uh, I, that's why I think that uh, next year is going to be LSU's year. I don't know if they can make it to the college football playoff this year, but next year they'll be uh, one of the uh, leading candidates. <laughs> Right, I do agree with you. Now, uh, Anthony Jennings, uh, sophomore, of course, the quarterback, uh, he was a little a bit off on Saturday. Uh, if you want to find something that was wrong with LSU's performance, he threw an interception, uh, fumbled that snap. And so those things are going to have to get cleaned up during SEC play. And we'll talk more about that later this week. Jim, thanks a lot. My pleasure, Rachel. And thank you again for watching Talking Tigers. Join us Wednesday for another trip behind enemy lines. See you then.